scientists have uncovered new details from this Mars mission that took off in 2018. They say Mars's mantle has created a geological time capsule of when the planet was first formed billions of years ago. What we found was uh, quite unexpected. And it offers tantalizing clues to some of the biggest questions in space exploration. One of the fundamental questions is, are we alone? And related to that is, how unique is Earth? NASA's InSight, the first outer space robotic explorer to study the interior of Mars. The research, based on NASA's InSight mission data, challenges traditional models of rocky planets as smoothly layered structures. This audio of a Mars quake, which is any seismic activity that shakes the ground on Mars, shows delays and interference, indicating a fractal pattern rather than a uniform one. What we've got in here in this new study is uh, the most detailed look, the most finer Look, we had inside a rocky planet, uh, rocky planets like Mars, Venus, Mercury. Constantino Charlambos is a research fellow at Imperial College London. He says when Mars sealed up, it preserved an interior holding remnants of a geological time capsule. These are likely uh, debris, or the, we're seeing the aftermath of these colossal impacts, uh, and uh, they are products of magma oceans that crystallized over four and a half billion years ago. It differs from Earth, where plates keep injecting new and recycled materials. So basically on Earth, the, the story has been rewritten a thousand times, whereas on Mars, we are seeing this more pristine record, this, more, this first draft of its history still being preserved there. The study was analyzed by researchers from Imperial College London and collaborators using artificial intelligence. Imperial College London professor Tom Pike explains. All we knew is what we had on Earth, and now we've, had, uh, we've now put the second data point on here. And the fact that it is quite different, I think, is, is, is very interesting and kind of puts a perspective on how special Earth might be.